Shabbat Shalom to the 144,000 and the one third of the elect of the nation of Yasha Allah, Israel, man, woman, and child. First of all, all praises, honor, and glorification is due unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honors, as usual, has been transferred unto the elder apostles of the Great Millstone GMS who continue to rule well and teach us this truth leading the flock by example and are our true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today whether you believe it or not whether you accept it or not peace blessings and citations goes out to the Achim the brothers who are pushing this good news this gospel the world over in sincerity and in truth in hopes that it may edify the elect lambs of Yahweh why Yahweh Shai right risking their life for Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai's sake to you few sincere sisters who are doing the right thing, to you I say Shalom. While Adwan Rathaza, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and may the blessing of election fall upon your household. Alright. <coughs> so, um, through the spirit, I'm going to touch on these two verses right in the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verses 14 and 15. Alright. So, without further ado, it reads. And the Adawan Yahweh, power, said unto the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Right, and the field is the world, okay. Upon thy belly, thy is just an old English word meaning your, alright. So upon your belly shall you go, and dust shall you eat all the days of your life, okay. So, um, you know, through the spiritual concept of reincarnation, right, the serpent later became a descendant of the lineage of Cain, right, as well as Esau Edom, the so-called white man, which really is red, right, the red Hebrew Edomite, okay, where it says, you know, on your belly shall you go and dust shall you eat all the days of your life, right, you know, this is symbolic talk. Right, for how the Most High would make Esau and his nation a base people. You know, we see that today, man. Okay. Verse 15. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. It shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Okay. You know, and the woman is symbolic for the nation of Israel. Okay. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And you Israelite foreigners, speckled bird, right? You are the children of Israel, okay? Alright. And the serpent, okay, again, is symbolic for the nation of Edom, alright? At this point, you know, the enmity, in fact, let's go into the Hebrew word for enmity right here. Alright. And it's a Strong's H342 number. The Hebrew word is ayabia. Alright, goes into enmity, hatred, right, resentment. Okay, let's look at the root word. Alright, that goes into be hostile to, to be an enemy to, alright, to be hostile to, to treat as an enemy. Okay, and that's going into the passion of ha and hatred, right, the hostility, the detest, the bitterness, right, the resentment that Esau has towards us, Jacob. All right. Hence, you know, no matter, you know, what we do as a nation, okay, we can never get along. Esau and Jacob can never ever get along. All right. But let's get a, a Google definition as well of the word enmity. Him, bear with me. Right. No, it's a bit uh, fine for you to see. Zoom in a bit. 
enmity. Right, a state of feeling of active opposition or hostility, and it's got some, you know, similar words, right? Hatred, hate, loathing, detestation, contention, abhorrence, bad feeling, ill will. Okay. You know, and that's what Esau Edom has for us. Right? Ever since, you know, our forefather supplanted him out of his birthright. Okay. So let's get back to Genesis chapter 3, verse 15 again. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15 and I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed it shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel okay so this you know this hatred is manifested from one generation to the next generation right and throughout all our generations man there's that perpetual hatred okay between both nations let's get a uh, the book of first John chapter 3 and verse 8 which reads he that committeth sin is of the devil for the devil sinneth from the beginning for this purpose the son of Yahweh was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil that's right man and Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai right, will soon remove Esau Edom the so-called white man out of his wicked rulership out of his queendom okay all right and put him out of his power completely okay let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28 and going into the curses all right Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37 it says and you shall become an astonishment a proverb and a byword among all nations whether the other one Yahweh shall lead you okay and this is talking about you know the nation of Israel all right man woman and child all you Israelites man all right and we've become an astonishment of you know a proverb and a byword among all nations you know we've certainly been a byword amongst these different heathen nations as well under the current rulership of Esau Edom all right you know we get called wetbacks spicks niggers Okay. You know, these different nations have, you know, their own words that they, they call us, that they look down upon us with. Alright. So, uh, just wanted, wanted to just do a quick lesson on that. So, uh, Shabbat Shalom for now.